What's going on guys? I'm about to head to Sam's. It's uh, after work Thursday. Starting to film a lot of videos after work. It's uh, actually pretty good. Pretty far ahead on videos. I don't know if you can tell by now, but I am trying to start doing three videos a week to really try and build up the channel. About to head off to Sam's and we're going to be working on the uh, the white Seth today. Tomorrow, um, as I'm filming this, uh, I'm actually doing a little meet with Guy Maxwell from up north and uh, going to bring my Sylvia along. And so we're going to go to Sam's tonight and also get the Sephiro ready to for Sam to bring that. So what we're going to do is we're going to slam it, hopefully try and sort the miss out. Well, apologies for shit lighting, but we are at Sam's and uh, what are we doing today? Railing. Railing. Got new adjusties for the Seth. We're going to wind them down and put them in. Yeah, so what and then try start it again. I tried last time, but it was really flooded. What are these? The, the fronts are silver Neo Maxes and the rears are D2s. Sweet, and it had like old shitty tines in it, right? Yeah, it had old tines in it that weren't body adjusted or anything, so it just didn't have camber adjustment or anything at the front either. So now we've got all of that, and we'll stick them in and make it low. And now we have C spinners. Nathaniel coming to the rescue. Mate, <coughs> always coming in clutch. So Sam has the set up while he's uh, dropping these coilovers. He uh, went and got a seat and is sitting down. So currently we have to adjust the fact that when the last person decided to lower it, they decided to drop the spring tension right off instead of just undoing that and lowering it. Nice. Tight. All right, doesn't work, burn the cunt. We don't need no warning that does not go proper burn. All right, you shitty coming. BQ. If that doesn't succeed, hit it harder. And this is how you lower your, uh, your car. You just wind it Spin all the way up. You do it the right way instead of winding the spring tension right off. Now, most people start with the technique of start with the dusty halfway down and then adjust it to where you want it. I like to do the old start with the adjusty right at the bottom and adjust it up if you have to. The whole plan was just to tow it there tomorrow night with the chassis on the ground. I hope you guys enjoy this. Well, that's as low as the adjusties go, because that's that bottom down there. Here's my phone for a torch, bro. Oh, cheers. Oh, this is so much better. I can actually <laughs> see what I'm doing. Daytime! Yeah, again. Again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should be good. Oh, <laughs> that's what you're talking about. Yeah, we don't even have weight on it yet. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet. So what we're going to do is we'll just stick the weight on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that's about where the wheel's going to sit. That Keep in mind, guys, so that, that's better. a 15 inch wheel. So, so that, words, that, that's. You're going to belly out on any possible bump or anything or fucking. Hey, it's not even rubbish. Oh, mate. Like the bottom of the wheel is almost parallel to the subframe. <laughs> well, remember just when we towed it? Keep in mind, when we towed it away. Uh, the car bellied on this. <laughs> That's like what? A two inch drop? If that. Right, um, so we'll put the other one ready to go in too. This is going to be good. Right, do you want to go under or do you want to do these nuts? Stick it on, patch it. Fucking send it. So we can't go much lower at the front, but about probably two, or two inches more. Two inches can be pretty vital, Sam. Whatever you tell the girls. Not what I was meaning. It could be the it could be the bloody difference in the wheel gap looking like shit at the front or not. You always gotta take things dirty, don't you, you sick bastard? Mind yeah. in the gutter. So some of the higher spec cars, if you look at how I've got the camber one set up there, your caster goes in that way. They they set them up like this and they can pull so then they can pull caster back in. Um because with big lock setups, yeah generally wind up with issues of the inside wheel rolling over on itself so with being able to pull that caster back that way it pulls the top of the wheel in we're not going to do that because we don't give a shit about this car and it's not a competition car. so we're just going to go with the standard come on One more. please stand by we're just going to go with the standard camber boy install and don't move. worry about that yeet about ready to stick some wheels on and through the magic of YouTube. Here's what I prepared <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I 
All right, drop her down. <laughs> you can't get the jack out. We got a problem. What's the problem? Um, I can't get the jack out from over the car. Hold on. How much do you need? Probably lots. <laughs> the wheel's not even on the ground. Isn't it? <laughs> no. Well, I don't think it is. No. Wait, wait. Oh, it's barely on the ground. Holy shit, look at that. Look at the wheel tuck. Perfect. That's amazing. We might be going up. <laughs> so frames on the ground, like literally on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going up, mate. <laughs> The subframe is literally sitting on the ground. Okay. <laughs> but isn't that sad style though? It is, but... <laughs> this car is undrivable like that. The sump is this high off the ground. Yeah, but don't you want the sparks? Not from the sump. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm willing to put X literally on the ground. It's bellied out on a... <laughs> it's bellied out on a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to your loyal fans what you were doing. Why did get up an inch? Because he's a quitter. Because <laughs> the subframe was literally on the ground, like you couldn't push it because it was digging into the dirt. <laughs> so we're just gonna wind it up. The back's about. I measured the back. The chassis rails at the back are about six mil, seven mil off the ground. So I figure yeah, let's wind the front up an inch or two. So we'll try get the front. And then to get it out of the uh, driveway, you said you were going to go to the Yeet Olympics and just send yep. it? Yeah, just going to go to the Yeet Olympics and go for gold. Just going to go to mainframe and just gonna, fucking send it. I'm going to go for the gold medal and exhaust scrapes in the road. <laughs> exhaust? You're going to go exhaust, subframe and rails? Yeah. Well, it's better than going sump and having to change that again. Again. Because <laughs> I can't be fucked with tape missions and shit. Wait, and jack it up about? and down ten times. We're just going to put a mark there. So what that mark's going to tell us is every time we every time we make horrendous noises, that mark's going to tell us how many times we've turned it. We do the same on the other side, do the same amount of turns, and theoretically should wind the suspension up evenly. And I've managed to work so quickly that I've actually just done both sides. So let's what a fucking legend. Let's stick the wheels back on and see what sort of difference a thumb makes. I've wound both sides up 10 turns, so that's probably roughly a lot, as long as it's 20, enough to get 20, the subframe off the ground. Yeah, 20, 25 mil we've done. Car is now raised a little bit, back down on the ground, and what? The raise subframe, it enough? The subframe is currently sitting this high off the ground, so as long as I don't have to go over any cat size or speed bumps or leaves tomorrow night, it'll be fine. <laughs> By the time this video goes up, the meat would have already been over and done with, so uh, yeah, you'll see that video. So we've filmed this video the same night the S14 paint video was released. So, so Thursday night before the Guy Maxwell meet. So this video, well, pretty much, I should actually say, so tonight Sam has been a better YouTuber than me, pretty much. Mm. I've been fucking terrible. I'm so tired. Good job, mate. You wait till you have a kid and lose one of your dogs so your other dog sleeps on the bed. Sleep is out the window. <laughs> All right. I swear I got like two hours last night. So this car is now railed. Uh, we're not going to try and get it sorted tonight. It's getting late and I've got work in the morning. So, I don't. Yeah. I got the day off. <laughs> yeah, he has the day off tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that'll pretty much be it for this one. Cheers for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, the all usual bullshit. Uh, yeah. And catch in the next one. Oh, we, we're definitely going to get this thing running. Yes. And take it to Kaikoura. Yes, not And thrash the we'll fuck out. we have to raise it up to get it in. Or a trailer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've potentially brought a trailer too. So, hopefully that goes through. And also, you're going to want to raise it. Because if you go off at Kaikoura at this low, it's going to fuck things up. Yeah. All right, anyway, catch you next one, guys. All right, we're going to finish this video That's off with traditional styles. Yep, that one. Traditional sandstorms. Hey, they're my ice cubes. Oh, I have... Not anymore. <laughs> I have a well, actually, no, they're your molds. The ice cubes are mine, I made them. I also have a mold for ice shot glasses. You put the skull.
and the skulls. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You put the other skull in. I didn't realise who they were. You put the coffee liqueur in. One part coffee liqueur. One part Russia. Russia. That's not one part. That's like three quarters of a part. No, that's that's just a small town. That's just Chernobyl. Oh. <laughs> and then cock. Sam's favourite thing in cock. the world. Cock. cock. In Soviet Russia. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> we know what you love. Yeah. And alcohol. Now, what was the thing you said before that? Look that taste. Yeah. <laughs> that is your bartender. It tastes, it tastes very similar to the KGBs that we had when yeah, we were painting the car. Yeah, that is a black Russian. That's literally what I just made, a black Russian. Ooh, that's, that's good. There's, there's two different ones you can make. Yeah, you so like them black, don't you? There's <laughs> um, black Russian or you can do white Russian. The only difference is the white Russian is instead of Coke, you use cream. Yeah. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Bailey's. So, he um, likes the no, no, no. The, the literal one is Carlua because Bailey's. Wait, is it Carlua or Bailey's? Yes, Carlua. Yeah. Um, Bailey's. No, no. Bailey's is rum based. It's cream liqueur. It's rum based. Is it? Yes. Oh. That's why it's called Irish coffee. It... I thought it was Irish cream. Oh, fucking I <laughs> Wait, I have it here. <laughs> The original Bailey's Irish Cream product of Ireland. Judges? That was weak. <laughs> <laughs> mm, doesn't say what it's mixed with. But we have Bailey's there, so, you know, it's easy oh, enough to just <laughs> add some of that to something. So this is just your typical Thursday night. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, she's too short to reach the round. <laughs> <laughs> I still have 